three, two, one. Alright, hey guys, here again, um, now as you can see this is my iPod Touch right in front of me, and I'm recording this with my dad's iPhone, which, yeah, anyway, I'll get into that later. Um, now, if you've been an iPhone user, iPod Touch user, jailbroken on the 2.0 firmware, you might be aware of an application called Mobile Finder, which basically allows you to browse your, um, device's system files, including themes and all that other fun stuff now the only real way to do that now is using SSH which is a more or and mobile finder wasn't that stable anyway there's now a new application that works for 3.0 and I find it incredibly so I find it so much better than mobile finder no offense to the creator of mobile finder who is if you did not know the creator of Cydia but this does beat it um, the application is called iFile, and it is under the Big Boss repo, which should already come installed with Cydia, so you shouldn't need to worry about adding a new source. Anyway, I'm going to show it to you. This is the... That's not what the icon will look like. It's just from a theme I have. I have a combination theme. This is eyeglass sole with the bat, with the wallpaper removed, and a, um, a new one called and me. And it's kind of nice, kind of calculator theme and some sounds and stuff anyway anyway back to what you want to watch I file it is much faster and it's actually customizable theme wise so um you can as you can tell you can go through all your system files right now I'm in stash where I can look at my um, themes and I can edit those, of course, if I say I want to delete something. Or Now, unlike Mobile Finder, when you clicked on the icons thing, it would take a while to load, depending on how many icons there were, because it would actually load pictures of all the icons. This um, application does not do that, which is good, but it can be bad for some people. I personally like it this way. Because just by hitting one of the blue arrows, or I mean hitting the actual icon name, will bring up a screen of the icon, and then you can just hit down here. Let me put my finger. And you can just keep going on, looking at all the icons. So that's pretty awesome. Oh, looks like tapping the screen makes everything go away. So that's really cool. Um, by hitting the blue arrow, you can um, go, go into like, more information and stuff, which is very nice. Everything moves fast and fluid, and I've not had a single crash yet. At the bottom, you have your settings, of course. Oh, crap, my bad. Hard to do this with one hand, believe it or not. Settings, and you can uh, start up directory, set on exit. You can turn your hidden files on, which I do because I just want to see everything. Font size, tabulator width, and port number. Um, you can change the sort order and the theme, which is what I was talking about. Oh, crap. Crap. So, it comes with default, leopard, and windows. I prefer the leopard one. I don't know why, I just think it looks aesthetically better. But you can set it to whatever you like, of course. And you don't have to close the application to actually change the theme, which is also nice. Then it has some kind of windows or web server thing. Not quite, I've never, got, I didn't get it to work, nor did I really read the instructions and features, but, yeah. Um, it comes up, you can, you can look at your bookmarks from it, I don't really understand why, once again, I haven't read the, read the instructions, but you can do that. Um, you can hit the home button, and that'll bring you to mobile, and you can hit the information button, of course. 
and this is version 1.00, I mean 1.00, and um, when this application first started up, it said that he was so many donations away from the next version, so after he gets so many donations, he will um, upload version 1. Point whatever, and that is actually the icon, oh boy, let that focus, that is actually the icon that will appear on your springboard. So, another cool thing is, say, um, say you really freaking like, uh, let's see, do I have any ringtones? Probably, not. oh, so, say you really freaking love this ringtone, but you unfortunately can't get it on your computer. You can actually hit the edit button up in the top right corner, and you have these little bubbles. So, it looks really cool. You can, um, hit the bubble, and of course you can delete it. You can add something new with the arrow um then you have the option to actually email it which is really cool so you can email that email it to yourself which i believe i guess you could email mp4 files like actual songs that you download from like dtunes or something i don't know that's pretty cool and then by hitting this over here you can um cut it or copy it so that's all very cool I'm going to uncheck that. Yeah, so if you were a big fan of Mobile Finder for 2.0, I highly recommend iFile. Even if you didn't use Mobile Finder, I still recommend this. It's free, and it works great, especially for those quick edits that you really need to do. Um, sometimes I got really frustrated with Mobile Finder. Like, it would actually make my, like, freeze my iPod, so I have to shut it down. On this, I've never had that problem, so I really recommend checking it out, and I appreciate you for watching my videos. So, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.